a good example of this would be my own brother. Oh, when did he get damaged? Here. Pistol, uh, pistols and shotguns. Bad combination. Shotguns rely exclusively on reloading and to some extent accuracy. Pistols require heavily on, uh, require a lot of accuracy and critical training. Now see, he's really got a strength build if you look at just the reloading and training and so on, but fail. Basically, you can't combine you can't combine pistols and shotguns at uh, to at this low of a level. However, he kind of got sucked into this because the police officer class starts you off with train with 15 pistol points and 10 shotgun points. And so any any plan basically basically you take police officer, a lot of players that take police officer because they see it as an interesting compromise between the strength of the soldier class and the um, effectiveness and the, and the lower effectiveness of some of the other classes. So a lot of players will pick police officer and they'll be sucked into thinking that pistols and shotguns is a good combination. It's not. Now realistically, yeah, police officers would have training in shotguns, they would have training in pistols. However, admin, for the love of God, please make it machine gun training and give them a submachine gun of some sort. Or don't even give them a submachine gun. But, I don't know, because like the MP5 is used by law enforcement, but love God, don't do pistols and shotguns. And for those of you who pick police officer, pretty much your host, sort of, so to speak. At this point, right at the beginning, you want to pick whether you're going to be a, a, a strength build or a critical build, and then based on that, train either shotguns or pistols. But here's a good example of what not to do, even though it might seem that it should work. Um, so... Anyway, so that, that's hybrid builds for you. Now, admittedly, I've been giving them a pretty bad rap so far. I mean, emphasizing how you get stat points get sucked away from other places, and even at extremely high levels, you'll still end up with some deficiencies. But that's not entirely inaccurate. Like, Malphite, for instance, here is an example of a she's like level 141. Who else in their right mind is going to make it to that level? Um, but th there are ways you can pull it off. Like, Nikki, I don't know if I can even bring up... Nikki's profile. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's that one. Yeah, here we go. Nikki's profile. Nikki here. She'll probably be able to pull this off. And if you can pull off a hybrid build, then you do have a lot more options. Like for instance, if she had decided to put it not into pistols but into melee, she would have be able to use like a katana, for instance, with the same critical hit rate needed. Um, she'd be able to use a katana right now, so she would have the option of silent killing completely silent, and then if, like, she started getting charged by red long arms, then she could switch to the M60, which is excellent for taking them out. Basically, if you can pull off a critical build, you can land all of the bonuses of each, and because each has its strengths in a different area, pun not intended, um, then if you can manage both at the same time properly, then you basically have no weakness. Like, if she, it, even even pistols even, it works, it works this works with pistols because they're pretty quiet. You got your quiet killing, High aggro combat, cheap weapon, high power. Um, so basically, she she uh, she for instance she's managed to pull off critical build pretty well, and she's got it made. Not fine. Uh, again, bad example because it's that high of a level you can put points into everything. Um, but you got your high aggro combat, your PvP weapon, and your silent combat weapon. Pretty much all set. So. Hybrid builds, they are very powerful. If you can, Once you can successfully attain a hybrid build, that is the most powerful build in the game. However, it's usually a good idea to start off as one of the other builds, like say, for instance, a strength build, work your, and work your way up. For instance, I've got, a, I've got a critical build right here. It's another good place. I've already got critical reloading high. If I were to, at some point, start to get very high level, like say, past level 50, I'm going to consider starting to, I'm going to start putting it into strength. Just put all my training into strength that I can get, and maybe start leveling up shotguns. Um, but that's it. And then, then I've already got a pretty solid critical build here. And um, say, for instance, you had a strong strength build. I don't have a strength build to pull up on command because I close the tabs like an idiot. But there's a good example. Strength. You want to start with either critical build or strength build, and then once you're much higher level, then start to think about switching to a hybrid. Anyway, so there you have it. You've got your strength build, you got your critical build, you got your hybrid build, and now you know pretty much what the bonuses and the downsides of each one are, the pros and cons. You also know what each one's going to expect and what you should train to do each, pretty much each one of them. So that's 
pretty much it. That's all I can tell you. Um, decide for yourself. If I had to give a recommendation for a new player that's just starting out, depending upon your class, I think Critical Build is the best. That's just my opinion, though. There are plenty of people who say that Strength Build is the best. Pay attention to your armor class. Um, not your armor class, your um, character class. For instance, the Boxer, that's someone who's pretty much, you want to take him if you want to do a, um, he will be good for a hybrid build or for pretty much for chainsaws. Boxers are the ones you want to pick if you, for the chainsaw because of the bonus of strength right off the bat. Um, Soldier, I believe, has some strength training. That one, you can play it either way. The police officer, as I've already mentioned, is a big player trap in that it tries to get you to train both pistols and shotguns. And I've seen a lot of players get sucked in. Um, I would say uh, if you intend to at some point have a hybrid build, maybe you've seen the really high level players handling a Dusk Enforcer in one hand and the GAU-19 in the other, and you want in on that awesomeness. Um, I have to say, if you're going to do that, then you're going to want to start with one of the role-playing classes. That The 30% experience bonus, that'll help you level up, and having extremely high levels is pretty much a base requirement of the hybrid build. Without a really high level, you're not going to have enough stat points to pull it off effectively. So pretty much that concludes this recording, and I hope you learned a lot from this. Thanks for watching. And I guess everyone else is doing this. Subscribe. Or subscribe, I don't know which way the button's going to show up on. But click subscribe, comment, rate, give it all thumbs up, do whatever. Thanks.